All right, so honestly, I've been really looking forward to this showcase because not only are we rocking triple Majin Vegeta's on this team, actually, technically, it's quintuple Majin Vegeta's, but two of them are the new Int Vegeta, right? This also happens to be my first ever 200% team showcase on Global. Now, in case you guys don't really fully comprehend exactly how the new Majin Vegeta's leader skill works, because obviously it is a new concept on Global, let me just quickly explain it. So basically, he's giving key plus three, HP, attack, and defense plus 170% to units in the Majin Buu Saga or Vegeta's family category. So that's pretty standard. But, but if any of these units on his team also happen to be in the Gifted Warriors category, then they get an additional HP, attack, and defense plus 30%. So for those units, it's actually key plus three, HP, attack, and defense plus 200%, which is something that was introduced on Global, or rather on JP, for the 7th anniversary, and uh, Global is finally getting it now because, of course, it's a joint celebration between Global and JP for Saiyan Day. So, on this team, obviously, all the units are in either Majibu Saga or Vegeta's family, and also in Gifted Warrior, so every single unit is getting the full 200% buff. Okay, so, with that said, let's jump into the uh, GT Legendary Goku event. Like I said, I'm super excited for this. And on this first rotation, we have the uh, Tech Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta that transforms into Majin Vegeta. We have the AGL LR Majin Vegeta, and also the Fizz uh, Saiyan Saga Vegeta. So I think what I'm gonna do here is, oh, let's uh, check their defense first. So we have 129K for the Tech Vegeta, not bad. 217K. 217 for the LR Majin Vegeta, which is amazing. And then only 53k for the uh, for the Fizz Vegeta, who obviously is going to be stacking up very quickly over the course of the event, but uh, he is a bit of a concern. So what I'm actually going to do is, I think I'm going to do this. I'm going to put the Fizz Vegeta in the first slot. Um, he's probably going to take a lot of damage if he gets supered, but I want to make sure he gets as many attacks off as possible. And if he does get supered, the good thing is, we'll be below 88% HP, so the Int Majin Vegeta's will be getting their full attack boost, right? So, uh, here we go, enough talking, I know I've been rambling, uh, let's give just a couple of orbs here to the Fizz Vegeta, I'm gonna give, that's perfect, a 17k super to the LR Majin Vegeta, and then... The tech one's not gonna get to super, but I don't think it really matters since- Oh my god. <laughs> I knew he was gonna take damage. I wasn't expecting that. 60k for a normal? Alright, well hopefully uh, we don't get supered now, because that would be catastrophic. Oh my god, okay. This was a bad idea, guys. This was a bad idea. But what's a good idea is this Majin Vegeta super attack. <laughs> Holy balls. Um, yeah, that's without support either. That's the craziest part. There's no support on this rotation. And this guy got 6.5 mil and a 7.7 .7 mil crit. So yeah, I think the 200% is... Uh, Making a difference. I believe it is making a difference. Now, um, we are going to have to try to heal up as much as possible <laughs> with some orbs uh, over the next couple of turns, because um, that was rough. That was rough. So I'm gonna try to get as many same type orbs as possible. I don't wanna have to use an item this early into the event. Uh, these kids might dodge, no dodge there, but it's fine, we didn't take too, much, uh, take too much damage there. And all three of these units are pretty tanky, so I'm not concerned about them. Um, is it the friend Majin Vegeta or my Majin Vegeta? Oh, friend one, okay, that's good, because the friend one is 79%, mine is only at 55% uh, with no dupes. So 79% Majin Vegeta, good attack stat there. Obviously getting the full boost from, the, uh, from his passive being under 88% HP and double supers from the support Vegeta, also a good sign. 
So yeah, we started off pretty rough, but I think we'll be able to make up some ground pretty quickly. Okay, so let's do uh, just these orbs for the Fizz Vegeta. Hopefully we get another super from the AGL Majin Vegeta, and then I'm going to give all these int orbs to my Vegeta. There we go, we're healing up a bit. Still below 50%, which concerns me. Okay, perfect. We're not getting super there. And then we have the Majin Vegeta going for just under 6 mil this turn. Yeah, AGL Majin Vegeta, he was already a monster, but now with 200% uh, leader skill, this guy's... I mean, he's still a monster, but even more so. He's more of a monster than he was before, basically, is what I'm trying to say. Okay, so we got the Tech Majin Vegeta transformation, which is great. Uh, I'm going to... I mean, either guy would actually work very well here. It doesn't really matter which Majin Vegeta we put there. As you can see, the Fred Majin Vegeta at 171,000 defense, but he will get 50% damage reduction. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? I forgot to turn on the uh, entrance animation and the... Uh, active skill animation. I mean, the active skill we can still see, but we didn't get to see the entrance animation. That's my bad, because I was farming Lynx before, and I didn't want to see it every single time, so... Uh, hopefully you guys are okay with that. I apologize for missing the entrance animation for both Majin Vegeta's, but that's just how it goes sometimes. Uh, but yeah, this guy's gonna get be getting 50% damage reduction, so he's really gonna be mad tanky, even with under 200% uh, or 200,000 defense, so I'm never going to be concerned about him defensively. Let's give these to the Tech Majin Vegeta. That's for the Int Majin Vegeta. And then I guess we'll get a super for the Kid Goten and Trunks as well. Who, by the way, are 79% because I was lucky enough to pull a couple of dupes today in my summoning video. Um, You know, I was expecting a bit better tanking from the Tech Majin Vegeta, if I'm being honest. Uh, he's gonna do good damage, but yeah, his defense, man, I thought it was gonna hold up a bit better. Over six mil, though. Over six mil with the additional links from the Majin Vegeta transformation, for the Int Majin Vegeta, great damage there. Solid tanking, of course, no surprise there. And uh, we need to build up these kids actually a bit more too, so hopefully they get one additional attack here. Perfect. And maybe one more. Maybe one more. They can't super up to three times per turn. So, let's see it. Ah, perfect. Yeah, triple supers. Triple supers. It was like, what, 1.9, 2.2, and 2.6? Solid showing, man. Solid showing from these kids. Alright. <clears throat> Here we go. Um, is it time to pop an item? It feels a little bit early, but at the same time, I'm concerned for the Fizz Vegeta and even the, uh, even the Int Vegeta, actually. So, I think it might be time to use a Princess Snake. It might be early, though. Okay, you know what? We have, we have the Icaruses, or the, the Weeses for later on, so I think we can afford to use a Princess Snake here. And then, let's see. If I give these, no. Okay, so I'll give these to the Fizz Vegeta. And that's gonna give us... Oh, we don't want an 18 key super, so I guess I'll just give one orb. To the AGL Majin Vegeta, and we should see something nice this turn from all the support that we're getting from the Xeno Vegeta. Alright, 4.5 mil attack for Fizz Vegeta. Additional super, please. Ah, damn it. Okay, that's fine. Great damage, though. Really, really impressive damage. And then AG. Oh my god. Oh, that is just ridiculous. That is just ridiculous. I I don't know what to say, man. I don't know what to say. 8.5. 8.5. Oh, perfect. Perfect. Okay, so we have no item active here, but it doesn't even matter. Because um, 
And this guy is going to have 50% damage reduction once again, and there's no other attacks, so I'm not concerned about the rest of the guys. The friend Majin Majida is going to tank very well. Very, very well. Now, as you can see, there was a pretty big drop in the attack stat, mainly because we uh, healed up, so we're not below 88% anymore. Additional super is good. So, yeah, we dropped from over 6 mil to now 4.9, which is still really good. Like, that's still a very good attack stat, don't get me wrong, but it just would have been better if we were, you know, uh, under the threshold. But the threshold is not that high, so, like, it's not that hard to us uh, usually get his full attack boost on his passive. And there's my 55%, as you can see, a big drop off in the attack from the 79%, which is to be expected, about a million difference. Um, but yeah, that was a good turn, man. That was a very good turn, and... This should also be a very good turn here. Um, I'm hoping that Majin Majida finishes him off, but if not, then we'll at least be able to get a nice uh, super from the Fizz Vegeta, and then, oh, this might hurt a bit. Under 100k? 134. It's okay. That's okay. Alright, so, LR Majin Majida, 5.8. Solid. Solid 5.8. Good damage there, 4.3 from the Fizz Vegeta. Just keep building that defense. Keep building that defense so I don't have to be scared later on. And then 2.1 from the Goten and Trunks. And once again, a couple of additionals would be ideal, but we don't need it that bad. So it's all good. It's all good. I'm going to save the active skill for now. Um or probably the final phase against the uh, tech full power Super Saiyan 4. That makes more sense, right? So, here we go. And we should be able to move on after this rotation. I think there's a very low chance he survives all three Vegeta attacks. 6.7 mil is the attack stat. I believe we are below 88% uh, now. Very nice. And that's going to do it. That's going to do it. 4 mil from the Tech Majin Vegeta. This team is too fun, man. <laughs> this team is awesome. <laughs> the only concern I have is the defense for a few of these units. But generally speaking, they're all quite tanky. Um, but, you know, like, yeah, a few of them are... Hold on a second. Why is our defense so low? Why is the defense for the Fizz Vegeta so damn low? Did we get hit by a super? Is that why? It must have been Lord or something, or does... Yeah, that's confusing. Because he's been supering so many times. I would have thought he would have built up higher. So did, I, did I just forget that he got supered and got lowered? I don't, I don't know. Well, either way, um... <laughs> I guess, uh... I mean, he should still be okay in that first slot. But it is a bit of a concern. If I'm being honest. So... Maybe I should put AGL Majin Majida in that first slot. He would get punished though if he took a super. But we're probably not going to die. So I guess it's fine. <laughs> Famous last words, right? <laughs> I guess it's going to be fine. You know, there's, there's, there's no way we'll, we'll die. Alright, here we go. 74. Okay, so normals are looking good. This is going to be bad. This is going to hurt. Oh my goodness. Okay, well, you know, we survived. That's all I can really ask for at this point. We survived. And this token attack is going to be nice. Token attack, 5.8 once again. Maybe a crit. So we can move on to the full power Super Saiyan 4 as quickly as possible. That would be the best case scenario. Give me a crit. Come on. Crit right here. Oh, additional super would have been even better. That was a nice crit, though. Good job. Good job. Uh, yeah, Fizz Vegeta defense. Kind of weird. I need to look into that. I don't really understand why his defense is so damn low right now. But I guess uh, we'll worry about it later. Worry about it later. Okay. So next turn, I'm probably going to pop a Prison Snake to heal up. Actually, no, we don't need to heal up. We, uh... We'll heal up from the Dokkan attack anyways. So maybe I'll have to use... Yeah, I'm gonna have to use the Whis. 
that's for this guy. So let's pop a Whis. And we'll save. We'll save the um, uh, active skill still for that final phase. And let's see what these guys have. Let's see what these guys are going to do. We're probably not even going to get super this turn, to be honest, but why risk it, right? It's not, it's not worth the risk. Yep, yep, yep. I love that tanking, man. I love to see it. And this is going to do no damage because we got the 50% stack with the 40% from the Whis. 68. That's what happens. <laughs> that's what happens. And then this guy will have attacks effective against all. So we should be doing some decent damage here. Beautiful. And let's see what the Goten and Trunks can do now. 2.69. Alright, so for a 79%, you know, non Dokkan best unit with the potential to double super, triple super, um, which we haven't seen a ton. We did see it the first time, right? The first turn. But nonetheless, it's quite good, actually. I, I think uh, that's actually quite solid. Um... You know, I'm gonna I'm let, yeah, I'm gonna let the Fizz Vegeta get his super off so that we can continue stacking because he definitely needs it. And no matter what, the Super Saiyan 4 Goku should be dead. I don't think there's any way he survives this. 5.5 mil, guys. 5.5 mil. His defense leaves a lot to be desired, but his offense is definitely there. The offense is definitely, definitely there. Oh, this is beautiful. This is a beautiful rotation. Okay, we're gonna be fine. Um, even my 55% Majin Majita back there, I'm I'm sure he's gonna hold up with no issues. And yeah, with no item required this turn, damn. You love to see it. You love to see it. All right, let's see what happens. No items once again, guys. Uh, we're going in naked. Um, taking a super here from full power Super Saiyan 4 Goku. I'm gonna say under 100. Under a ha oh never mind. <laughs> I might have overestimated the damage reduction a little bit, but yo, under 50k is still great. It's not quite what I said. I know I know I uh might have set expectations a little bit too high when I said under hundred, but under 50k from full power Super Saiyan 4 Goku with no items? Can't complain about that. Really cannot complain about that. Okay, well, um, this guy's gonna take a second, but these guys are hitting pretty damn hard, so I'm thinking we're probably gonna be able to get through him in like two, three more rotations. Uh, we're probably gonna be able to finish this event in under 25 minutes, which, uh, relatively speaking, is very, very good time, you know? So... There we go. Um, oh man, this is tough. Okay, so if I put this guy here, he really worries me. I'm gonna do a Whis for sure. We need that. And I'm just gonna hope and pray, hope and pray that Faze Vegeta does not get supered in the first slot. Please don't do it. Goku, don't do it. 4.7 mil. Additional super would be reassuring. No additional super. A lot of attacks, but I don't think there's going to be a super today. And by today, I mean like this rotation. <laughs> I don't think it's going to be a super on this rotation, actually. Crit. Mm, beautiful. Okay. And... Yo, when I saw the pause, I was like, yo, are we about to get supered on the Majin Vegeta? But nope, Majin Vegeta didn't get supered either. That's great. And... Wonderful. Wonderful. Back to this rotation. We like this rotation. And we especially like it because... We're gonna now pop the active skill. Let me just make sure I didn't turn it off. Yes, it's fine. Okay, here we go, guys. Enjoy. Oh, chills, man. Every single time I watch this, like I said before, 
when we first saw the animations for the first time, I was like, I'm never gonna turn off the uh, active skill animations when I'm actively playing the game. Obviously, it's different if I'm farming, right? Like, I'm not, I don't, I'm not gonna be like having it on on the side. But if I'm actively playing the game, I will always let the active skill animation play because it's just too good to skip. It's just way too good to skip. Um, we should still have the Whis active, so I think we're fine. Unfortunately, we weren't able to get a super off of the Xeno, but I, th I think you'll be okay. And uh, he should be fine here. 34 damage. Yep, that's what I expected. <laughs> that's, that's that that looks about right. That looks about right. 5.3 mil. Um, crit maybe. Very nice, and wow, it looks like it looks like Tech Maja Majita is gonna finish things off, and that's gonna do it, guys. That was pretty quick. That was some good time we just made there. Just under 21 minutes, I think, is gonna be the final time. Well, I mean, if you include my talking, then it's gonna be probably 22 minutes or so. But yeah, no, I think in terms of actual playing time, in terms of like when I first started to. You know, do the first attacks, and then into now where we finished it. It was probably under 20 minutes, actually. Now that I think about it, yeah, it's probably under 20 minutes. That's that's quick. That's quick for the GT Legendary Goku event, and uh, yeah, that's that's what this team is all about. <laughs> that's what the 200% Majin Vegeta team is all about it is crazy fun and my Majin Vegeta is only at 55% and he's shown me a lot to be impressed about or, or to be impressed about no what's the right expression I'm impressed <laughs> I'm impressed that's what I'm trying to say and of course the 79% uh, friend Majin Vegeta did some great things as well if we had a rainbowed you know max link level Majin Vegeta on the friends list which I couldn't find today but um, if we had that too, it'd be even crazier, right? So overall, just a crazy, crazy team, an amazing unit. I've heard some criticism about his damage, but I think his damage is just fine. It's not the hardest hitting unit we've seen, but he does some great damage, and his defense is off the charts. I mean, his damage reduction, his defense is just on another level, right? So just a amazing unit overall, easily one of the best TRs in the game, no question. And I love this team, man. I love this 200% leader skill. I can't wait to run more combinations with this leader skill, um, with like maybe the Goten and Trunks, like the you know uh, AGL Kid Goten, this Kid Trunks, and some other stuff. It's gonna be great. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. As always, if you guys enjoyed today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. Sub to the channel if you're new, hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows if you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And uh, yeah, have an awesome, awesome day, guys. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.